be yourself. Really recognize that you're there because you should be and, and be courageous, be brave. Being a woman in the RAF and the first female fast jet pilot, what was it like to be Britain's first? Exciting, exhilarating, demanding, uh, fast, at times dramatic. Flying a fast jet is really all about capacity. And when I think about it, it's about responding immediately. It's about making those decisions. And when you make them being the right decisions, and I joined the Royal Air Force when I was 18 years old because they were offering sponsorships to study engineering. It was the first year that they had ever given these opportunity um, to. It was the first year that they had offered sponsorships to study engineering at university at, to women. And I just thought, let's go and give it a go. And it wasn't a typical journey for someone in my family. And at that point in time, women weren't even allowed to fly. Shortly after I finished my degree, the government announced that women could, and I put my hand up to become a pilot. And I've always been someone, I suppose, to make the most of every opportunity. And I have now flown the Tornado, the Jaguar, the Harrier, the F-16, among a number of different aircraft. So what transferable skills have you learned from being in the RAF? And what have you taken into the working world? There are numerous things that I can think of, but honestly, two really jump out at me. And the first one's about resilience, really. Being a fast jet pilot places you under such immense pressure and an ability to deal with stress at work is really a skill which is directly transferable to the modern world when we're working in the environments we're working in today. Adapting and flexing and responding, I suppose, to what's happening is that ability to be able to think ahead as well as make decisions in the now and be able to respond to whatever might be coming in that's slightly different. And I think the second one that I'd choose would be about leadership, because whilst I'm from a really different background from the majority of people that I work with, the skills that I've learned from the Royal Air Force, such as leading, managing a team, all of the ones that you would just think of are, are critical for absolutely every organisation, certainly one that's going to be successful. And we really need people in organisations who have diverse backgrounds, who have a different way of thinking to really build those high performing teams. So what advice would you give for women in male dominated roles? Be yourself really recognize that you're there because you should be and, and be courageous, be brave. Although recognizing that being courageous and being brave does make you vulnerable because you're putting yourself out there and, and people can comment on it and build on it, but, but that's okay. Don't be, don't be shy to share your valid experience, which may be really different from someone else's because people love listening to stories, whatever way you look at it. And follow your dreams and, and share your aspirations. Make the most of every opportunity that presents itself to you. But I suppose most importantly, just love what you do. Because I always think if you turn up to work doing the job that you love, the day goes past so very, very quickly and makes such a difference to what you're doing. But I also would like to just query whether being the only woman in the room is as a valid a discussion today. Because again, we need to focus more on what's the talent, what's the skill, who is it that we need? Um, how do we listen to what others are saying? How do we work together? Who is it that's making the decision? So be interested, be interesting. Make sure that you're someone who stands out in the room. What are the most important leadership traits that you have learned and seen? Oh, and there are a few, and I know that we haven't got too long for me to talk about them all. The first one I'd mention is, is being a binder, somebody that brings people together and, and forms a team that recognises each other's strengths and works with trust and, and therefore you achieve results. I think others that spring to mind are authenticity, empathy, and, and, and clearly those are really important because it's so important to have, I suppose, clarity and understanding around 
who you are, your own values, your own purpose. So you can anchor to that when you need to make decisions fast and they need to be the right decisions. And I think when I think about everything going on in the world, that's so important today. And finally, the most important leadership trait that I've seen is when someone has, I suppose, presence, you know, when they walk in a room and they make a difference to the energy in that room, being someone who has presence makes you stand out again. 